A draft is simply an angle added to any planar face and can be added either immediately when creating certain geometry, such as extrudes, or at any point by using the draft command with a plane as reference. This is another tool typically used in plastic injection molding. But there are times where the draft is useful if you want to draft a face at an angle. In this lesson, I'll use the draft command to add draft to the bottom of the webbing of the inside of the bottom component. To enable the draft command, you can either go to the Modify pull-down menu and select Draft, or right-click, hover over Modify, and select Draft. I'll enable the command, and I first need to select the plane. The point that the plane intersects with the face will act as the pivot for the draft, so it is normally selected perpendicular to the face. For this lesson, I want the draft to be larger at the bottom and leave the top the same size so I'll select the top of the web as the plane. I want to draft the faces of the web, so I'll select a face. And notice that a dashed line has appeared where the face intersects the plane. This axis line represents the pivot point of the draft. So when I move the drag handle, the face is stable at the axis and moves around it. Besides the drag handle, you can also set a specific angle from either the dialog box or the floating window, and the direction of the draft can be reversed by using a negative angle value, clicking the flip direction toggle in the dialog box, or clicking and dragging the arrow in the drawing area. The direction dropdown in the dialog box is used to switch between single and multi-sided drafts, and uses the intersection axis line as the divider. I'll switch the direction to two side, and to help show the difference, I'll select a new plane on the top of the ribbed cylinder. As you can see, two-side direction treats each side of the plane as an individual draft that can be freely adjusted. And if I switch to symmetric, both sides draft with the same angle. Finally, the tangent chain checkbox will automatically select faces tangent to the ones manually selected, but won't have any impact in this example. I'll set the plane back to the top of the web, change the direction back to one side, and set the angle to 5 degrees angled out. Since I want to draft every edge, I'll hold control down, take a moment to select all 40 faces of the web, then click OK to finish the draft. I'll switch to the top view on the view cube, and you can see that the bottoms of the web are now thicker than the top.